What's going on, y'all? So I just got a call from Corey at the shop. And he just told me that it's something water damage related going on. So I'm heading to the shop right now to see what's going on. I basically went out for a morning walk this morning, took y'all through the creek. Then I uh, I got in and fixed the you know the family some some omelets this morning, some breakfast. And I put that up on Instagram that day. I showed some pictures. Basically, we were down to our last little yogurt, our gogurt. And I wanted some too this morning. So I just made the boys some eggs, uh, like sandwiches. And then uh, put them some fruit on their plate and gave them a little bit of the yogurt so I could have the rest. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a little worried about what I'm about to find when I walk into the shop. Corey don't normally call me if, it's a, if, if something's a small problem. And he called me first thing this morning telling me that the ceiling was down. So I'm kind of worried. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little scared. So this will be the second water issue I've had in the barber shop. I'm gonna be honest. This is one of those things that make me, like, every time I feel like things are going good, I always get set back. And I'm saying, I can't afford no more setbacks right now. Things are finally starting to go good, y'all. I mean, yesterday, I just paid, and this is what's crazy. I just paid off my second credit card yesterday, y'all. That's what I'm still on that, trying to pay off my debt. I'm down, to, I didn't pay off two credit cards. I paid off my first one for this year. And it's like, I just gave that money away. And now, here go another problem. And it's crazy because the credit card that I paid off yesterday, it was the business credit card. <laughs> hey, it never fails, y'all. It's like when it rains, it pours. But I'm going to tell y'all, if you think you're going through something, I'm letting you know. I stay going through stuff. That's why I try to tell y'all, the morning walks, they be well needed. Because that's how I clear my mind. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. The feedback that y'all give me, it helps me tremendously. Because some of y'all feedback helps me think through situations. I know everybody don't understand that and everybody, this is boring to them. But what I'm saying is, y'all help me just as much as y'all be letting me know I help y'all. So I appreciate y'all. What the heck? Whose room is that in mine? I was thinking I was just upstairs looking at that. Yeah, that's got to be, that's got to be my room. Yeah, I got a water leak. All right, thanks, man. Let me check that right quick. Shoot. I thought it was going to be like the whole ceiling down. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's bad enough, though. Oh, boy. Hey, I thought it was going to be something like the whole thing was going to be down. Right there. It's leaking right here. That's my problem. This needs to be tightened. And it's before the shutoff valve. So I gotta get something. All right, so I found the leak. It just so happened to be in the room that the last person moved out of. Wow. Wish I would've caught that a little bit sooner. Now, let's get a bucket. This is what I've been talking about. Little things like this happen. And it costs you a lot of money. Look at that. That little bitty drip caused all that damage downstairs. So now I got to go home, get the dehumidifier, bring the dehumidifier up here, start drying out downstairs because it's obviously been leaking for a long time. But this is the problems you run into when you run your own business. Now I gotta figure out how to get that fixed because I don't know how long it's done damage, but it's been at least the weekend. All right, let's get to it. All right, y'all. Uh, so your boy gonna need a plumber. This ain't gonna be good. I'm gonna need a plumber. Going home right quick. I'm gonna call and see if I can't get me a plumber to come out, take a look at this uh, pipe. I think what happened was when old girl moved out, uh, she probably had something that probably bumped the pipe and it probably knocked it loose. 
I'm not gonna consider that to be nobody's fault. I'm not really worried. I caught it fast enough to where it's not too big of a, it's not too much damage. It still sucks a little bit, but uh, it is what it is. This is what happens when you operate your own business. It does suck a little bit, but man, I tell you, at least it ain't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It could have been worse. Hopefully it doesn't get worse before I get a plumber to come out because it can get worse very quickly. And I would hate to shut off all the water to the building. So um, we got it all cleaned up. Now I got to go and get a plumber to come out. So that's where I'm headed now. Hey, y'all stay tuned. See how this day play out because I really don't know. But this is how my life go. It's always one turn after another. No joke. It's like there is never a guarantee on how everything is going to go. But I'm glad I got out and got my morning walk this morning because it keeps me well prepared for things like this. I already had my peace before my day got started, so ain't nothing gonna rattle my peace. The plumber just called, said they're on their way. So I'm heading back to the barber shop. See how much this is gonna cost me. So, once again, heading back to the shop. Hey y'all, so we back up in the shop. What's going on? <laughs> hey, so uh, I had some problems, y'all. So this was one of the uh, the heating elements that I had got for these chairs right here. And this heating element, it went out. Or actually, I ain't gonna say it went out. I don't think it ever worked, but I never had a cosmetologist in the building to use it. So I never, I never got it working. So it's out of warranty because I never used it. So I had two of them. So I went ahead and bought another one because I had two cosmetologists in the building and now this one is working. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one, but that don't matter. Anyway, so I don't know if I told y'all that I come in and I change my filters once a month. So what I did is I bought these on Amazon and I just changed my filters out every single month, every single month. I know they last longer, but what I'm saying is, see these say they go 90 days. But it's more cost effective in the long run to just change them out every month. And what I'm saying is the cost of changing a air conditioning unit, it's better to just replace one of these every month. It'll, it'll make it last twice as long if you do it that way. I know it sounds like it's not a good thing, but I'm saying there's more people who forget to change it every day, every, every 30 days. There are more people in this world who forget to change this filter and go well over 90 days, which does more harm. I'm saying if you get on the schedule of doing it more, you'll forget to do it less. I guarantee, even with me skipping a month, I'm still doing better than somebody who does it every 30, every, because a person who does it once a year, you'll forget. And then when you forget, when you remember, it's too late. I'm saying if you live in an apartment, get used to doing this because if your landlord doesn't do it for you if your furnace breaks down they will say it was your fault so I'm saying make sure you always remember to change your air filter I do it every month my wife even said to me I don't remember you ever changing an air filter <laughs> as long as she, she's never even known it's been an air filter in the houses that we lived in I'm saying as long as we've been together, I've always replaced my air filters. Now, when we first moved into the house that we're in, we had this big fancy, we had a big fancy air filter in that. It was just one air filter. See, this is what I'm saying. You see how often I change my air filter? This is the one I just took out. It's still perfectly clean because since I turned off my furnace, when I put this one in and look, watch this one. Look, it's solid white. I just put this one in on the first of this month. I'm saying when it comes time to change my filter again after this month, when it comes time to change my air filter again, I will put this air filter back in because it's still clean. It doesn't have any dirt on it at all. So until I turn my furnace back on, 
I will be rotating between these two filters because there should be no dirt on either of them. But that's just to stay in routine. And then I will keep using these. I only have to buy one box a year. That's $60 in filters for a year. People do things like this. And look, that was never clean. Even when you rinse it out, it never looks clean. Look, that's what clean looks like. Does that look clean? That is horrible for a furnace. I don't care. There's no way that your furnace can breathe correctly through that. There's no way. Hey, I'm not trying to make this whole video about air filters. What I'm saying is, if you want pro not to have problems in your life, make sure you check things like this on a regular because these are the costly repairs in your home or costly repairs in your business. Take the proper care of them while you have the opportunity because it's going to be a costly repair when it comes time. Take good care of it while you have the time. All right. So same way with this water leak, y'all. I'm just going to be straight with y'all. Okay, there's a little water in this. I got water damage right here. The tiles, I'm going to replace those. You have to replace these. I know I have to. I'm going to replace them. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to replace these because uh, the fire department, they tell you about things like this all the time. Like, this could be a problem. So I got to get this fixed, which I'll do that today, hopefully. The, the water in this light, I had to let this down so that the water could get out. We already did the cleanup. I'm, oh, I forgot to bring the... I'm waiting on the, the plumber. So as soon as the plumber comes, which it looks like I stopped the water, no more water. So the bucket underneath the, the leak, this proves that I did stop the water. And I'm saying, so that was the problem. Now all I need is the plumber to come and fix it. And then I'll bring the dehumidifier in, get the water uh, absorbed. I'll put the dehumidifier in the room and then I'll put it down here. Uh, get some fans, blow it up in this area to dry everything out. It was only leaking over the weekend at a, at, you know, at the most. So we should have the water completely stopped. This shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'll let y'all know what happens when, uh, when Rotor Rooter gets here. I'll try and let y'all know what the cost of it is. If, if it's not too big of a deal, I don't know. I'll let y'all know. But anyway, this is what it's like being a business owner. This is why sometimes you have to take more than one day off. I'm saying had this happened on any other day, I probably, I don't know how I would have dealt with it. I, well, yeah, I do. I do. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Just like it wasn't that big of a deal today. Hank, let me show you all my step count right quick. I'll show you how much of a big deal this wasn't. Check this out, people. There it is. 9,000. It says 9,706 steps, and it's 140 in the afternoon. That's how your boy gets it done. Hey, y'all see that right there? I dropped my pen. Well, check this out. So, Rotor Rooter, they gave me very, very specific directions on what I have to do. And so, guess what? One of the directions was they will be practicing social distance. They will not have any contact with me whatsoever. Oh, hit my head. So much they won't have contact with me that they told me that I must sign my paperwork with my own pen. There goes some free advertising for that bank right there. Hey, if you're thinking about being a business owner, these are some of the problems that you run into. I'm saying it's worth it to me, but it's hard. And you have to be prepared for situations like this. Because, hey, I had a relaxing morning walk this morning. And look what it turned into by the middle of the day. Things change quickly. But I'm letting y'all know it's all about how you perceive things. And what I'm saying is, you perceive this as being a bad thing. What I'm saying is, this could have been a whole lot worse. And had Corey not came in this morning, it would have been a whole lot worse. Because I was out walking in the water, wasn't thinking about no water in the shop. So what I'm saying is, it could have been a whole lot worse. So I'm thankful that this is all it was. Hey, once again, Rotor is about to be here. I ain't going to take up too much of your time. But look, these videos be coming like this because this is just what my life looked like. My guess, my guess is what it's going to be is, I don't know, did you have somebody put those on or was those on initially when y'all moved in? Initially when I moved in. 
Okay. Well, what I'm saying is, when I made this a barbershop, that's the initial point that that was put on there. Okay. So, you got a couple of options. Uh, what more than like what more than likely was wrong with it is either the O-ring that's inside isn't sealed, it's not tight enough, or something is up with the pipe. The pipe could be split a little bit right there, but I doubt that it's going to be split because it's just dripping. It's just kind of right. It's got a, a slow drip. Right. So you got a couple of options. You can, we can tighten it or we can change it. Me personally, it's there. I don't know how long it's been there. How long has it been leaking like that? Well, just since the weekend. Is that when it got put on? Well, no, or that's when she moved out. She so a young lady just moved out on the thirty first of the month of 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 December. Okay. And she had a it was a table here uh -huh. or something here that she had. And I'm thinking when she I'm hoping that's all it was is when she moved her stuff out, she dinged it. I'm hoping that's the worst case. You know, it, it's, it's possible. Um, I'm not I'm not complaining either way. I'm saying what is it gonna take to fix it? Is all I'm asking. Change it. Well, um, let's make that happen. Change it, put a new one on. Let's make that happen. I'm saying. All right. You, you telling me it's about to kill my pockets? Nah, it ain't. It ain't about to say it. ain't gonna completely kill. Oh, he said. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> now, now, now. I got some subscribers now. I'm telling them about Rotor Rooter. I get. I gave them some free advertising, but ain't nothing uh, free. <laughs> I get <laughs> reviews. <laughs> I'm just playing. So you're looking. Um, hmm. I can write you up an estimate where to take fix it. Right quick. That's all Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's gonna get. It's, I'm saying it's gonna get fixed today. You can write the estimate. That's fine. All right. Give but I'm saying it's getting fixed. Give me a few minutes. Do you just want to do one, or you want to? You guys want to change the one, or you want to? Yeah, I just want to change. Them I just want to change the one. I know that's gonna cost me half as much. <laughs> 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 hey, that's how I think. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna get a change today too, so it don't it, just let me know. I appreciate right, give me, it. Give me a couple minutes. All right. right All right, and I got my own pen. All right, so there we go, y'all. Y'all see how it is. So it's about to get done. Hey, like I said, I feel like he's gonna treat me fair. I can guarantee it. So I'll let y'all know how he treat me when we're done. And it is, this is a different area, so people feel differently out here. But what I'm saying is, I feel like I'm always treated fair. So, I'll let y'all judge. <laughs> hey, y'all take it easy. Let this man get to work and let me get to work too. All right. And see, that's what I thought it was, was that piece, but I didn't know how to adjust that piece. I was like, if I get on there and start tightening it and that boy pop off, it would have been water just gushing straight that's out of the wall. You shut it off. Yeah, and it would have took me a minute because I'd have had to get a ladder. I ain't tall like you. <laughs> I'd have had to get a ladder. That's why I ain't touch it because I knew if I messed that up right there and that boy would have shot off, it would have made a whole bigger mess than oh, what yeah, I got. It a lot bigger mess. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I let I let people who professionals do what professionals do. Let me uh let me go grab a couple things. I'll be here. Cause I got that. I got that in my truck. All right. I feel like we're about to have a problem taking care of the day, yeah. In a few minutes. Yeah, see, I want to explain something to y'all. So basically, what I saw when I was dealing with it was right here is where I was scared. If I would have lost that connection and it would have shot off, or if I would have touched it and messed it up, then water that big would have been shooting from there to this chair or to the wall, and it would have shot everywhere in the room. If I would have messed that up, that's why I'm saying sometimes... It's best to let a professional do what a professional do because if you jump in thinking you know what you're doing, if you do something wrong, it can create so much more of a bigger mess. I'm saying when you're not 100% sure what you're doing with electrical, with plumbing, with anything, look, if you're a barber, your profession is being a barber. Cut hair and do it well. But when you have issues like this, leave it to the professionals if you want to save yourself some money. You think that what I'm paying is going to be a lot. What I'm saying is if I had to try to do this myself, I could have been paying thousands and I would have been liable to my insurance company. I would have been liable because I would have tried to do it myself. What I'm saying is don't mess with things like this on your own. Call in a professional. Call in a professional. What I'm saying is I called in a professional. He's acting like a professional. I'm going to give him a professional review when I'm done, y'all. Hey, this is what we do. I'm going to give y'all the information. Y'all stay tuned. You are good to go, man. You heard that. I'm good to go. He took care of the problem. 
Hey, he gave me a, I, I feel a fair price. We talked about it. I think he could have been much harder on it. He took care of it quick. He gave me a good fair uh, estimate on the rest of it. There you go right there. That's what we working for. Hey, this is like the third time I done had to start my year off with Roto Rooter at the door. And I'm saying they didn't did what they needed to every time. And he is correct. No leak. <laughs>